guys, Terry Beefcake Reeves here, getting ready to dyno our 2020 Shelby GT500 today. First, we're going to do a couple stock pulls. We're going to pull the uh, factory air box just to see if it makes a difference. And then we're going to load our lung custom tune. And then we're going to make a couple more pulls. And then we'll pull the stock air box again and uh, see what kind of number she lays down. Always remember our dyno is a little stingy, which that's okay. We're just looking for before and after numbers. So we're firing up our engage. New nice little load screen. We're about to custom load our Lund custom tune. Let's go to tuning, load tune. Tune's right there. Just click it. Flash the tune. The engage is just such a simple, simple device to use. All right, so the stockpile's been downloaded and the tune is complete. So we're going to get to uh, making some pool. Hey guys, we're just going to go over some of the dyno data now. So as you can see, the uh, vehicle picked up a peak of 21 rear wheel horsepower and about six foot pounds of torque. Now, when you're looking at the dyno graph, you don't want to get hung up at just the peak numbers because the peak numbers don't tell you the whole story. For example, in the mid range here, you're seeing uh, some pretty heavy gains. Uh, horsepower is up about 24 rear wheel horsepower in the mid range. Uh, torque is up about 27 foot-pounds. So you actually have a, a pretty good pickup across the uh, whole band. One of the biggest things that you'll notice though is the RPMs. Uh, with the factory red line was set about here. So you're, you're probably shifting the car about 7,300, which is going to bring in around, so we'll call it 6,300 on the shift. With the Lund Racing Tune, we're going to be shifting closer to 6,000, or sorry, 8,000. So what that's going to do for you, if you're, if you're shifting at 7,300 and then you're coming in uh, somewhere around that 6,300 RPM range, you're coming in at about 593 rear wheel horsepower. Well now, if you're shifting to 8,000, you're coming in closer to 7,000, you're going to be coming in at a number more like 653 rear wheel horsepower. So you're coming in at 50 more rear wheel horsepower, which is huge. Uh, and your average horsepower band is going to be much higher from 7,000 to 8,000 than 63 to 7,300. So the car is going to move much faster. This is really going to pay off once we get into some other mods like ported blowers, larger throttle bodies, uh, things like bigger uh, cores for the uh, intercooler, things like that that are really going to help us uh, pick up. So overall, very, very happy with the Lund tune. Uh, one other thing I want to show you guys. So we had a 684 and 663, 537, 531. Now that is an SAE correction factor. So a lot of guys post the highest numbers that they see, which are sometimes STDs higher, sometimes it's lower. So uh, we will go into the uh, tools here. I want to change the options. I want to switch this over to STD uh, standard because we're gonna do that for both these just to, just to show people. So when you apply that, now you see 700, 679, 549, and 543. So the overall numbers, you're still a 21 real world horsepower difference and a six uh, peak number. Your mid range numbers are the same. So a lot of people are getting hung up on peak numbers or if they're standard SAE, just trying to do you know whatever they can to get the highest number. For us, a dyno is a tool. You know, we just use it as a tool for before and after. We like to use SAE numbers because they're a little bit more accurate. It corrects for altitude, weather, and everything like that. But we're gonna to continue to show you both numbers, uh, just so you know that when we dyno and we do things, we don't play any games here at Beefcake Racing and Finish Line Performance. We try to do everything uh, 
on the level. Our dyno typically is a little bit more stingy than most dynos. We uh, just want to give you all the information, let you see what's going on, and hope you're happy with everything. Uh, again, uh, phase two will be coming soon with the headers. Video is actually ready to be done. We've already got the numbers. Uh, very pleased with what the ultimate headers did. You guys are going to be really excited to see those numbers. Uh, we'll get them up in the next week. But for now, you're seeing your uh, your Lund Racing custom tune. No, uh, nothing but Pump 93 on this tune. Uh, nothing but, uh, you know, no Octane boosters. Nothing to skew any numbers. We're just trying to do straight up. And these are the best of the pools uh, with Lund. Uh, we do three pools uh, on the base file. Never loaded a tune before this tune went in. Uh, then we loaded the tune. We did three pools. And we take the best of the three pools. We try to do an average so that, you know, a lot of guys would make one pool. I mean, I've seen I've seen dinos out there where guys posted numbers of 620 horsepower and slapped something that looked like a, a piece of pipe from a Home Depot on a car and uh, claimed a 40 rear wheel horsepower gain to get to six uh, to get to a 660 wheel, which is lower than even our stingy dinos. So just be careful uh, where you're getting your info from and the parts you're putting on your car. You're going to get real data, real numbers from us here at Beefcake Racing and Finish Line. So again, appreciate your time. Appreciate you checking out the video and stay tuned to the channel for a lot of our 2020 GT500 updates.